What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and welcome back to another entry into our Rogue Rumble series where we take a look at some underutilized or overlooked cards and we try to make some Rogue deck ideas out of them. And so for today we are going to be looking at a new Sylvali GX archetype. It's going to be featuring the Sylvali GX back from Crimson Invasion and also the new Dawnwings Necrozma GX from Ultra Prism. So kind of an interesting deck we have going on here. I've mentioned a couple times, I think Dawnwings Necrozma is actually a super underrated card in the current format. You know, a lot of people have just kind of, I think, shrugged it off just because it's weak to dark. But, uh, you know, I think it has some good things going on for it. So, the reason we're playing Dawnwings in this deck is, in the past, you know, Silvali GX has this great ability. It lets basic Pokemon retreat. But, you know, Silvali GX isn't even affected by its own ability. So, with something like Dawnwings Necrozma, we have a little bit more mobility to our board than Silvali GX archetypes have had in the past. But let's get into it a little bit more, and we'll see, you know, kind of all the ins and outs of this deck. So, of course, Silvali GX is going to be the main attacker, though. So, 210 hit point, stage 1 uh, GX. Like I said, has this ability, Gyro Unit, your basic Pokemon play have no retreat cost. Which is pretty nice, you know, every time you play a Guzma, you always have a Pokemon with free retreat in play, or most of the time, I should say. Typically, you always have a Lele on your board, or maybe an Unevolved Basic, or in this case, a Dawnwings to Krozma. So, Gyro Unit, just a very, very nice ability, but Silvali GX has some pretty good attacks as well. Turbo Drive for two colorless, I'm sorry, uh, three colorless is 120, and you attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So just a nice little two-shotting attack. Uh, you know, it sets up other Pokemon for once your Savali GX gets knocked out as well. But then it also has a great GX move, Rebel GX, for, uh, for again, the same attack cost of three colorless, 50 times the amount of bench Pokemon your opponent has. So this is just like the uh, GX move we've seen on Lycanroc GX in the past, uh, but on Savali instead. And definitely a, a good GX move. Most decks in the current format go for a first turn Bridget and start setting up uh, you know, a full bench most of the time. So usually your opponent just plays right into Rebel GX and sets up a free KO for you at some point. So Savali is going to be kind of the main attacker of the deck, but we're still playing some other cards in here to, you know, cover maybe some of our weaknesses, like we are weak to fighting, which is a bit unfortunate because Buzzwall has been extremely popular recently, also Lycanroc GX as well. Uh, so like I said, we are playing some ways to deal with this as well. And also, like I said, his ability doesn't even apply to himself either. So for that reason, we are running Dawnwings Necrozma GX. Uh, like I just mentioned, it's one of these new GXs that came out of Ultra Prism. And so 180 hit point, that's all fine and dandy. Two retreat cost, weak to dark, which is actually pretty bad, to be fair. Zoroark is a very popular Pokemon, but not even every deck runs Zoroark. So to be fair, a lot of times the weakness isn't even relevant. Fighting Resistance is actually pretty good in this format as well, just because of all of the uh, popularity of Buzzwell decks. But the main reason we're playing Dawnwings Necrozma is, is for this ability Invasion. So once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. So basically, whenever you play Dawnwings Necrozma, it essentially gives your entire board free retreat. So even if you have a Silvali GX in the active spot, or even a Zora Arc GX, which we do play in this list as well, you can use Invasion, and suddenly you have free retreat. So again, no more of your Silvalis or Zora Arcs being stuck in the active spot and having to waste energy to retreat. You have Dawnwings and Necrozma to help you out with that. But we are actually playing Psychic Energy in this list, and so that means we are going to be using Dawnwings and Necrozma as an attacker as well. And this is going to be to help cover our weakness to uh, Buzzwell, since Buzzwell is weak to Psychic, and Savali GX and Zork are both weak to Fighting. So Dawnwings is going to help cover that weakness. And you guys might make the argument, well, why not just play the Psychic Memory, uh, you know, that gives Savali, you know, Psychic type? Well, one reason I'm not doing that is because of this ability Invasion. Uh, by playing Dawnwings instead, like I said, everything essentially gets free retreat. Psychic Memory is not really going to help us, uh, you know, retreating our Savali GXs or Zorark GXs. And also, you can't bridge it out, <laughs> a uh, psychic memory. You have to just get lucky and draw into it. But with Dawnwings Necrozma, you can bridge it out, you can play Ultra Ball, and it just is a nice backup attacker in certain matchups. But let's look at the attacks, because like I said, we are actually going to be attacking with this card. So Dark Flash for three psychic energy is 120, and the attack's damage is not affected by resistance, which actually is kind of okay, because certain Pokemon in the current format, like Metal Pokemon and Zoroark, are resistant to Psychic. So, uh, you know, a solid little two-shotting attack similarly to Silvali GX. 
uh, or if we are playing against something like a Buzzwall or Espeon EX or, some, or Espeon GX, I should say, uh, we're going to be taking one hit knockouts, which is very nice. But then Dominic Sacrosma has a crazy GX move as well that I think people uh, really forget about. So for again, the same attack cost of three Psychic Energy, it does 180 damage. You can only use this attack if you are behind on prizes, but on your, your opponent's next turn, you prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. So this is a fantastic GX move. If you're able to take a knockout with this, that's great because you can take two prizes a lot of times and then be immune from everything on your next turn as well. And the math actually works out really nice for this attack because 180 is going to kill Lele's, going to knock out things like Volcanion with a choice ban. Uh, you can knock out stage one GXs, you knock out Buzzwall in one hit. So just a really, really great GX move. And uh, like I said, I think Dawn Wings is a pretty underrated card and that's why we're going to be trying it out in this deck. But then, like I mentioned, we are also playing a 2-2 line of Zoroark GX, of course, for that trade ability. So once during our turn before we attack, you may discard a card from our hand to draw two cards. So we can sometimes pitch away energy into the discard pile to get out with Silvali GX, or, you know, just getting rid of cards we don't need anymore and maybe in this particular matchup that we're in. Uh, Riot is beating, also a great attack just for a single attachment, uh, just to do 20 for every Pokemon we have in play. So Volley GX is going to take two attachments at a minimum. Uh, similarly, Dominic and Crosma is going to take three. So Zoroark is a great uh, one energy based attacker we can use at some point if need be and gives us a nice little consistency boost. And like I mentioned with Dominic and Crosma, we don't have to worry about Zoroark ever being stuck in the active spot either. And then just to round out the Pokemon line, three copies of Tapu Lele GX, of course, for that Wonder Tag ability, lets us search supporters out of our deck. And since we do play Double Carlos Energy and Psychic Energy, we can actually abuse both of its attacks in this particular deck too. So then going on to our supporter cards, you know, nothing too, too crazy for our draw supporters, just playing a 3-3-3 split of all of the major uh, draw supporters, Cynthia N and Sycamore. Uh, it seems like a decent little number to have. Also playing two copies of Bridget just to you know start setting up as quick as possible on the first turn. Uh, we can get out three basics, that way we can start evolving as soon as possible on turn two. Uh, three copies of Guzma just to choose what we want to take knockouts on. And then one copy of Acerola just to you know maybe help against decks that we are having to exchange two hit KOs with. Acerola can kind of you know push you ahead in those sorts of exchanges. You get to pick up one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it and put it back into your hand. So like I said, very good against these decks that have to two hit KO you. Uh, you can kind of get ahead in the prize trade thanks to a card like Acerola. So then going on to the rest of the item cards that we have for Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Uh, we have four Max Elixir. This is going to be our other form of energy acceleration, look at the top six cards of your deck, attach a basic energy you find there to a basic on your bench. So one thing that is honestly kind of bad about Dawnwings Necrozma, it, it takes three psychic energy. It, you know, it's not one psychic energy and two colorless to let you use DCE, you have to use psychic energy. So something like Max Elixir uh, and Savali GX between both of these just really helps your Dawnwings uh, Necrozmas get up and running as soon as possible. And we're also playing one Rescue Stretcher. And a lot of times you've actually probably heard me mention in videos, I prefer Super Odd in decks that run uh, Max Hooker. And while that might be true, your attackers in this deck, they don't really discard their energy, maybe like they would in like a Duskmane Necrozma type of deck, or like decks that run Turtonator GX as an example, or, you know, stuff like that. So right now I'm trying out the Rescue Stretcher. Um, you could switch this to Super Odd. I think there's a case to be made for that as well. But right now I'm trying out the Rescue Stretcher because I just kind of want the flexibility of being able to grab a Pokemon right back into our hand. And besides, we kind of want energy in the discard pile anyways for Silvali GX. So like I said, trying out the Rescue Stretcher, see how it does. Of course, two Field Lords to discard our opponent's tool cards in stadiums. And for our own tool cards, we're playing three Choice Band, of course, just to increase our damage output, uh, you know, and to increase the, our damage by 30 to GXs and EXs, especially in the case of Dawnwings Necrozma with a Choice Band, we can hit for 210 with its GX move, which is actually a pretty relevant number to hit for. But then we're also playing a couple of the new memory cards uh, that Silvalli GX has had access to over the past couple sets. So we're playing two Fighting Memory uh, so if it's attached to Savali GX, it makes it a fighting type, which is really nice because you can knock out things like Zoroark GX in one hit. Uh, with, since you do 120, then the fighting memory makes your damage 240 basically. 
So really nice against Zorark decks, but then we're also playing one copy of Fire Memory as well. This is the new one that just came out of Ultra Prism, and this one makes your Savali GX Fire type. So this is good in a couple of matchups in particular. So take Duskmane Necrozma GX, uh, just as an example, they are typically going to one-shot you. You have to two-shot them. You know, maybe sometimes you can get off a Rebel GX, but generally speaking, they take prizes a little bit quicker than you. So having Fire Memory is good to be able to take a one-hit knockout on them. Similarly for Golisopod variants, uh, you know, being able to one-shot Golisopod is going to be a pretty big thing to be able to do because generally speaking, most decks are... Those two decks are going to have to two-hit KO each other, but in the case of Golisopod, they run a lot more ways of denying knockouts with multiple co copies of Acerola. So typically, they are going to be ahead and kind of win the two-hit KO war between both decks. So Fire Memory is going to give us another chance at taking a one-hit knockout and staying ahead in the prize tree. And then to round out the list, of course, four double Carlos energy and nine psychic energy, just to ensure that we can always hit them off max flixers, or at least hopefully most of the time. But guys, that's the list that we're going to be trying out here. I think this deck actually might have a little bit of potential, but let's go into the battle portion of the video and let's show it off and see how it looks. All right, guys, so we have ourselves a game here. Just going to call the coin flip, which we do win. So that's definitely good. We definitely want to go first and start getting set up before our opponent can. Okay, and this is actually a pretty good opening hand. Like, no Bridget, no problem. We got basically every basic we really want. So we have the Zerua. We have the Dominx as well. Well, uh, I could save it just in case we are going against a Zora Arc deck. But you know what? Let's bench it. We'll see what happens. Here you can see my opponent's a little frustrated uh, by the hand that I was dealt here. And this is Buzzwool. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. So we're gonna have to see if Dawn Wings to Krozma actually makes a difference here against these fighting decks. And so what we can do is we can, hmm, we have Sycamore, but honestly, I might just pass here. We have the Silvalli GX ready to go for next turn. So I think I might just hang on to our hand here. You know, I would have liked to have hit a Max Elixir, but you, you know what? We still have a chance at pulling off a knockout next turn if we get lucky enough. But, um, oh, and here opponent has a Guzma, so it's a little bit unfortunate we won't be able to dig as hard on this next turn with a Zor arc. So, okay, so our opponent's definitely off to a pretty good start. Taking a knockout on the first turn is always a good thing. I guess we promote this guy. And we hit Max Luxor. Okay, so that's actually pretty big for us. And we hit the Max Luxor more importantly. So we have an energy coming down on our Dawn Wings. We're going to evolve into Savali GX. And actually, if we hit Max Luxor attach, we can still pull off a knockout. Okay, so we have the Elixir. We just have to hit it. Yes, and so we, we hit the Max Elixir, and we have the other Psychic Energy ready to go. And so here we're just going to retreat, and yeah, put up Dawn Wings, and use Dark Flash. We could use Moon Eclipse GX, but I really don't think we're really in any danger of being knocked out next turn. So I'd prefer to save the GX attack, maybe for later, or for a different Pokemon if need be as well. So taking a knockout on Buzzle on the first turn, or on my second turn, feels great. Buzzle is normally the deck that is kind of doing that to its opponent, so it feels good to put it in its in its place here. So our opponent's going to Ultra Ball. What are they going to get here? Um, you know, Because I'm going to be knocking on their door, you know, on the next turn with another Dark Flash to take a knockout. So they need a lot this turn. If they had Pseudo Widow, if they could power up Pseudo Widow, that could actually be pretty good for them. Because um, they really can't afford to attack with Buzzle. If they have Zygarde EX, that could also be a decent attacker to pivot to. Or maybe Mewtwo. Um, so let's we'll have to see what our opponent is running here. Okay, so we see Pseudo Widow, uh, Rockruff, and another Buzzle. I'm completely okay with that. Okay, and they do have a Float Stone, so they're in an. Oh, and they play DCE. That is interesting here. Okay, so we're going to see an energy drive. Ooh, but we have Ultra Ball, so actually... Okay, so I think what we might do here is we can Ultra Ball away... Probably N. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. And Fighting Memory, and we can actually Lele for Guzma and take another knockout. So even though our Dawnwings to Krasnum probably will go down the next turn, going down to two prizes, basically, you know, giving up two prizes to take four is definitely a good trade, and I am... You know, more than okay with doing that. So let's let's grab a Guzma here. Just gonna take a peek through the rest of our deck. We have another Dawn Wings in there too. If we do need to set up another one at some point. So here we're gonna go for uh, the Guzma, and we can 
I guess we get the one with the float stone, that's fine with me. Take that free retreating option away from our opponent. Here we'll get down a DCE just in case, uh, you know, just in case we get hit with an N or something like that, we want a backup attacker. So I guess that's fine, we can attach two Savali GX. I don't know, maybe maybe Lele actually would have been safer just in case they do set up like Suda Widow or something wild like that. Here we hit a Guzma and a Field Blaster. If our opponent doesn't have uh, N, I kind of like the spot that we're going to be in here. Okay, so we're going to see a Choice Band come down, Buzzwell, and a Sycamore, so I'm actually cool with this. Here we're going to see a Max Luxor coming down. Okay, and they do whiff it, so that's pretty big here. And so our opponent is going to hiss with an Energy Drive. I'm okay with that. Um, you know, we do have a Cynthia ready to go. We have Guzma. You know, we have Field Ball. We have some things that we can make use of. And we actually top deck Choice Man, which is kind of lucky. <laughs> so now what we can do is we can retreat into Savali GX. Oh, and our opponent just concedes. They're like, you know what, man? <laughs> you got it. I'm not even going to waste my time. So uh, we take down Buzzle. Oh, let's try out another game. We didn't get, um, you know, that one didn't last too long. So let's, let's see if we can get lucky again. Uh, here we're going to go first, of course. And okay, so we have a pretty good opening hand here. Unfortunately, we don't have Bridget, but you know what? We have the two Type Nulls, we have Dawnwings to Krosma, we have an Energy, um, so I think we're in a good spot. But just curious what our opponent is playing. We see a, a Mega Charizard deck box and Shaman Sleeve, so this could be anything at this point. Really not sure what to expect here. So, Moment of Truth. And another Buzzwell deck. Okay, okay. So. Last game worked out pretty good for us. So what do we do here? Do we attach the Psychic Energy or do we attach the DCE? Um, you know what? I mean, we could attach the DCE. That would be kind of safe. But you know what? We managed to pull off a really aggressive Dawnwings last uh, last game. So let's try to go for it again. Unfortunately, we didn't hit any Max Elixirs. But we do have a Savali GX ready to go for next turn. Um, double Carlos Energy if we do need to. Uh, power that guy up. But honestly, I really want to go for the turn to dark flash again. Uh, just because if we knock out this buzzwall, we're going to be in a really good spot. So opponent gets down a fighting energy. I am fine with that. I'm going to see a nest ball. So this is... Okay, so we're going to get out a Zygarde. Definitely a good choice on our opponent. Here we're just going to see a jet punch. So no supporter. That's interesting. And we see an ace roll. I don't really need that. Definitely going to get this Silvali GX into play. That way we can give our uh, Pokemon Free Retreat, and I think we just end here. Um, we, I mean, like I said, we could Ace Roll, but that's really not going to get us very far. So I think just playing the Cynthia is good. We need Max Flux or Attach. Hey, we have two Max Flux. We just need one to hit, and we hit it. So that is definitely super good. We got a little lucky there. Uh, we, we have another Max Flux, and we hit that one too. So we're in a good spot, and we can attach this Psychic Energy to our Savali GX as well. So yet again, we can use Invasion here or just Retreat, and we can use Dark Flash to take a knockout. But here what I might do is, um, our opponent is playing a Garbiter deck. What's the off chance they have Sycamore, Garbiter, Floatstone ready to go? If they didn't play a supporter, I'm kind of thinking, you know, maybe they have something in hand they don't want to play down. So I'm just going to play the Lele just to be safe. And here we're going to do 240, knocking out Buzzwell. Get a Zerua and another Max Elixir. And here our opponent just concedes. Dawn Wings is the Buzzwell killer. So if, if you've been having a problem with Buzzwell, all you need is Dawn Wings and the Crosswind. You are good to go, apparently. So let's try our luck again and see if we can uh, have a, a longer game yet again. Alright, so we have Type Null. And we have Bridget. We have DCE. So we have plenty of good things to make use of. Uh, on our first turn here. So we see a fighting deck box and a another Buzzle deck. Can we go three for three? I'm really curious if we're just getting lucky here or if this deck is actually good. <laughs> so here we can just grab one of everything. We have Zorark ready to go for next turn, I think. Or no, we have Silvali in hand, I think it is. Um, but we have a Zero, so we can get that set up at some point. Uh, we have Max Lux, there's plenty in the deck. Okay, so yeah, we did have Zorark in hand. So that, that'll definitely be good. Uh, here, you know, kind of just doing what we did last time, just going for the aggro Dawn Wings. So we're going to see a Brooklyn Hill come down. And our opponent needs to get this Buzzwell out of the active spot. He doesn't know I've been just like, just plowing through Buzzwells on PTCGO, so. Okay, he's going to get down the uh, 
choice man you're feeling brave man you don't you don't know it but Dominic's necrozma is coming for you or hopefully we have the zorark in n and cynthia ready to go on next turn so we have some outs to powering this guy up and if they get down a regirock i think they can actually take a knockout which would be slightly annoying i don't know if they have that but okay so i guess they don't have it i'm fine with that they're gonna do a hundred to this type null and I think putting 30 on Dawnwings could be good. You could put it on Zerua, but I think Dawnwings is going to be the biggest threat here. So they're kind of basically putting me on a one-turn clock to have Zorark, but luckily I have the Zorark already, so. And so we can attach. So we basically have to hit Elixir here, which we have some, some outs to. We have Zorark as well. Hey, and we do hit the Elixir, but before we play it, I think just to increase our chances of it working, we should Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Ultra Ball and Cynthia. We can grab ourselves a Silvalli GX here. So just thinning cards out of the deck to ensure that our Elixir is more likely to hit. We could trade, but I don't want to draw into a Psychic. So we do hit the Elixir. So the, yet again, Dawn Wings, the, the Buzzwell Killer coming out of play yet again. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to use Dark Flash and start plowing through some Buzzwells here. And we have Lele ready to go, so next turn, um, you know, if they are not able to power up like a fully powered Buzzle and knock us out in one hit, we have Lele ready to go to get a Guzma, hopefully. So we're just going to see what our opponent, uh, you know, has to work with here. And, I mean, they have this Carbink break, they can accelerate some energy, but here they're going to get down yet another Carbink, it's interesting. I'm curious if they don't play any other non-Psychic weak attackers. I mean, Carbink obviously isn't weak to Psychic, but I mean as far as more heavy-hitting Pokemon like Zygarde, or even Suda Widow. So your opponent's going to go for a Sigmar, it's interesting. Maybe they, they want some energy to put in the discard pile, but... Uh, yeah, I guess that's actually probably better than N. I mean, I only have a four-card hand, I have four prizes, so N wouldn't have been... Uh, you know, theoretically very impactful there. Uh, I mean, they don't know I have the Lele ready to go uh, to get the Guzma, but... So our opponent's going to get rid of an Ace Roll and the Guzma. They can kind of see Ace Roll is going to be pointless with the with the Buzzwell killer here. <laughs> the Buzzwell's not going to be able to be healed uh, in this matchup. So our opponent is going to Max Hookster. That's, I guess, good for them. Hey, if they can get Floatstone, like Max Hookster, Energy then they can actually take a knockout with Absorption GX, which actually be pretty scary here. But off, you know, that Sycamore, I don't know if they got all of that stuff. That's a lot to ask for here. But hey, they probably thought the same thing when I used a turn two Dark Flash, though. Okay, so actually, if they had had the Float Stone, then they could have actually knocked out Dawnwings, which actually would have been pretty terrible. And here we see a Doduo. That is... That is spicy. Okay, so they're probably playing the Dodrio that gives them two less retreat cost. Uh, I think Flotsam is just probably generally better, but... Uh, so here, yeah, we can evolve into... Let's trade first. We'll get rid of Bridget. Don't really need that at this point. Hey, we have a Max Luxor, so actually what we can do here is we attach to Sil Silval IGX. Or... Let me see. Let's actually grab Lele real quick. Grab this Guzma. Oh, but here we see the victory screen yet again. So we've had three Buzzle decks concede to us in a row. You know, at first when I knocked out the first Buzzle deck, I was like, you know what? Maybe I just got a little lucky, but we pulled it off three times. So like I said, maybe Dominic's Necrozma and Sil Silvali are actually a pretty good combo. We'll have to see. But it's definitely been a deck I've been enjoying playing with. Uh, so definitely feel free to try it out. It's a lot of fun, guys. But as usual, guys, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you can, support this channel by picking up something from our online store at rarecandytcg.com or by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. It'd be greatly appreciated. And actually, over on Patreon right now, we are really close to hitting our next goal. And once it's met, we're actually going to be giving away a booster box of Ultra Prism uh, PTCGO codes to the winner. So definitely go check that out. I will have a link in the description as well. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you for the next one.